Tacloban is a city quick on the rise in the modern world, being the regional center and capital of the province of Leyte. As new buildings rise in the place of old ones, Tacloban still manages to merge the modern world with their traditions through celebration. Along the Cancabato Bay lies the Baluan Complex, which overlooks the scenic San Juanico Strait that faces neighboring Samar. On this site once stood the historical Baluan Tower. Once a lookout point for Moro pirates, this towering relic of stone and steel unfortunately did not stand to weather the times. In its place is the newly constructed Baluan Amphitheater built as a venue to commemorate all of Tacloban's cultural festivities. The official festival of Tacloban is known as the Sangyao Festival, which is held every June 29. The Sangyao Festival was initiated by the former First Lady, Mrs. Imelda Marcos, in the early 80s and was revived in 2008 by Mayor Alfred S. Romualdez. Sangyao, which in the native tongue means proclamation, is a grand display of the city's culture and the Taklobanans' character, their pride, intense spirituality, zest for life, love of freedom, scale of values, and awareness of the past. Contingents from all over the country come to participate in the festival and express their culture through street dancing and celebration. The streets become rivers of people coming to partake in the festivities. In high spirits, they eagerly look on as the flood of street dancers in their colorful costumes wind through the crowds to the heart-pounding beat of a marching band. Tribu Tarakloban is the local dance troupe that represents the city during the Sangyao Festival. This group of youngsters prepare months in advance for their performance during the celebration. Their dance narrates the story of Tacloban's rich history and the cultures that have influenced their city. Their warrior-like costumes depict the many wars that have touched their soil. Their costumes are meticulously constructed by hand from native materials such as pandan, buri fibers, and wooden beads as a display of their ingenuity and craftsmanship. Another major festivity is the Feast of Tacloban's patron saint, the Santo Niño or the Holy Child of Prague, which is pompously and solemnly celebrated by its predominantly Catholic residents. Coinciding with the Sangyao Festival, this celebration also takes place in June due to a historical mishap. In the early 1900s, the Santo Niño image was found in Mindoro after it got lost during a typhoon while being shipped to Manila for restoration. Its absence for several months from the city brought epidemic until its recovery and return on June 30. Overjoyed to have the miraculous statue return to its shores, the locals welcomed the Santo Niño with great joy and celebration. Since then, the feast was transferred from the third week of January to June 30. The celebration of the Santo Niño begins with a dramatic reenactment of the historic exchange of the Holy Infant from the neighboring town of Basay. Tacloban was once a barrio of Basay, and it was tradition for the Santo Niño statue to be exchanged across the San Juanico Strait between the two locales. From Basay, the sacred image is hand carried through the streets and onto a boat which transports it to the shores of Tacloban. The site of this ritual takes place in the Baluan Amphitheater which is named in honor of this tradition, as Baliu means exchange in the local dialect. The celebrations of the Sangyao Festival and Santo Niño Feast epitomize the heart of what is important to the Taclobanos, and these are their pride in their hometown, honor for their history, and zeal for their faith. As the city continues to move forward, Tacloban remembers to look back at its past in celebration and dedication to what makes them truly Taclobanon.